My name is Sal Shivari. I work for uh, Edwards Life Sciences as their Chief Information Officer. Edwards Life Sciences, uh, their focus is on heart valves and heart therapies. It's, it's life or death. And so, you know, for us, when we take a look at what we need to do and we take a look at the services that we provide, stepping up to those challenges are really, really critical. Uh, and so we don't take them lightly. So we had to go through a process to really understand, you know, do we upgrade this all ourselves? Do we take the time and the effort to invest? And when we looked at it, we said uh, it would probably take us a lot longer a lot more costly, and just trying to get the talent aligned to do it would be a major challenge for us, and we needed to move quickly. Uh, and so that's where we started to look at infrastructure as a service. And what we saw with AWS was a lot more process intensive, a lot more features than we were seeing with the competition. And in fact, the migration path seemed to be something that from a support standpoint and from a capability standpoint, we felt a lot more comfortable that AWS had what we needed. We actually completed the entire migration in about three and a half, four months. And that means every production system that we have is now up in the cloud. Not only was AWS better from a security standpoint, but it was a quantum leap better. I think the major benefit is really um, why work on something that's not your stated business? You know, uh, uh, data centers today to me are a commodity item. I hate to say it's not a value add, but actually it's, you know, it's like electricity. You just need it to run in the background somewhere. It isn't customer facing. It isn't something that delivers value other than the fact that you got to have a team that's focused on it and delivers. You don't have to sit there worrying about where am I going to get my next server, where am I going to get the funding to actually, uh, the capital funding to be able to, to to support the next project. How's the air conditioning in that environment? How's the electricity in that environment? Where's my redundancy? You don't have to worry about that. I think that's a, that's a major ease off of your mind and it lets you focus on the right things that you should be focused on. AWS provides a solution for us that it just eliminates the traditional disaster recovery environment. And uh, although we will still be doing our level of testing, Having a disaster recovery service, having, a, having the same backup scenarios that we had before, no longer relevant. And in fact, what I told the CEO after the transition was that he never had to worry about disaster recovery again.